little sneak Well guys, I actually can't believe it, but after three long years, I am finally back in one of my favorite places in the world, London, England. Gonna be meeting up with some of my favorite automotive enthusiasts and guys you've seen all over the internet, as well as heading to Goodwood Festival of Speed next week, one of my favorite shows in the world. Now my unbelievably gracious buddy, Zach's Garage, has decided to pick me up from the airport and probably the fanciest Uber of all time. Now he hasn't told me exactly what he's bringing. That's gonna be part of the surprise. The incredible Zach's Garage, good to see you, man, How's has you picked are? me up. I am great. In the worst Uber I've ever been in. Look at this thing. That is a beautifully specced Pista. Well, it's technically a Fiat, so I mean, that's <laughs> <just appropriate. laughs> it's in it's in the right genre. Wow. Not a bad way to start my England experience. Oh look, it's TGE in a Tesla. We're cruising along nicely in the yeah. Pista, the and that tiny little box up there is a speed camera, this yellow thing. Damn you. New things in England, it just sucks. You don't stand a chance anymore. I'm in England. What's going on? I'm, I've come to see you. You're in England? Yeah, I'm just gonna show up at your doorstep. Yeah. Is that cool? Beautiful M5 competition up ahead. Nice license plate too, M555. So we just got to see the gas prices in Nairobi, Kenya. And I know everyone in America is complaining about the gas prices here, but hopefully this will make you feel a little bit better. We're gonna fill up the Pista now at the station. How much was it per liter? Two, two pound and three P. So oh, wow. So that's like eight pounds per gallon, which is what, like 10 or $11 yeah. per I'm gallon? Oh my god. I do wish we had 97 though. All right, 122 British pounds. We'll do the conversion right here. All right, the 15 gallon tank in the pizza costs $150 to fill up. Unbelievable. I wish I had gotten this on film, but two undercover cops in like some Kia car that you never would have guessed are getting out of the gas station and they look at Zach and they're like, is that rented? And he's like, no. And then it's like, yeah, it's purchased. And then they ask him a whole bunch of questions about what he did for a living and and then asked if they could trade their undercover Kia for the Pista, which we, sh we should have done it. We should have done it. We could have gone through this traffic. We could switch the blues and twos on and off you go. So do those undercover cars have lights? Yeah, they've got lights, computers, the whole nine yards. Occasionally on some British undercover cars, you can see little squares okay, gotcha. throughout the grill and stuff like that. But generally, they're so good now that you just, you got to be so careful. I mean, the craziest one I ever had on the motorway, there was a 2006 Ford Transit that looked like a builder's van. <laughs> and it suddenly lit up and shot up. And you're like, <laughs> at what point? Like, you'd look at it, and there was, and they're two plainly dressed officers as well. So they don't even have to wear police gear. They just wow. wear like, normal clothes. I'd almost not believe them if they pulled me over. I'm like, no, no, is this a setup or are you? <laughs> Out here in the gorgeous English countryside, place I've never been before. Looks like some decent driving roads out here. Maybe one day I'm hoping that you will be mine. Turn my life around wild. I'm finally here at the infamous Zach's Garage. I've seen so many pictures and videos all over YouTube, but to actually be here feels truly special. Now we're gonna go through the collection, which is unbelievable. There's seven buildings of exquisite cars, ranging from Koenigseggs to one-off cars you've never even heard of. So I can't wait for that tour tomorrow. But first, we're gonna go out in something that Zach says is the scariest car he's ever driven. All right, I couldn't resist. Here's a little sneak preview of just one of the buildings. Oh my gosh. So obviously there's some other absolutely insane cars in this room, which we'll talk about on the next video, but I gotta say, this Twizy with this full-on Formula One style body kit is something else. But today, we are going out in this, the Caterham 620R, not the McLaren 620R, but also a fellow British vehicle that Zach says is one of the scariest things he's ever experienced. And apparently it can do zero to 120 miles an hour in about three seconds, making this one of the fastest cars in the world. And check out these lightweight little doors, which apparently are removable. You don't need doors, and you can also remove that windscreen, but this makes it so you can actually drive it without having to wear a helmet. Look at all the beautiful carbon fiber work, tiny little Momo steering wheel, bucket seats. I have to say in pictures and videos, these caterums have always looked a little bit funky to me, but in the flesh, I'm actually obsessed with the way this car looks. And they're not all that expensive, something around 60 to 80 grand for a new one. And the performance that this thing has is ballistic. 
This has a two liter four cylinder that's supercharged and has been tuned up to 500 horsepower. And allegedly it only weighs about a thousand pounds. So as you can calculate, that is 1,000 horsepower per ton. That is a number I don't even know if I've experienced outside of that twin turbocharged Huracan Performante. And yes, before you get too antsy, I am aware that there are some breathtaking cars in this room and they will all be detailed in the next video. The Caterham 620R even has a six speed sequential manual transmission. So you just shift it forwards or backwards to change gears. That is so cool. <laughs> Another incredibly gorgeous car that we'll detail in tomorrow's video, Vanquish Zagato shooting brake. Listen to this cold start. I'm sure it's about to be insane from that V12. Honestly has to be one of the coolest looking Aston Martins ever created. Wow. Check it out, this isn't just red. It's red tinted carbon fiber all over the body. One of my favorite design elements has to be those tail lights. And now it's time to ride in a complete death trap. Wish us luck. Forget just Aston Martins. This has got to be one of the sexiest cars in general ever created. And also in terms of its uniqueness. I mean, what is it exactly? It's a GT cruising supercar that's also a hatchback. I don't know, but it works together so darn well. The facility that I'm at right now, Zach's Garage, is actually breathtaking. I can't wait to show you some of the rooms, some of the little hidden museum areas in here. I learned more about gasoline and ancient gas pumps and all that and oil than I ever have in my entire life in about five minutes with Zach explaining what's in there. <laughs> So that's what the field is for. I get it now. Well, I have no idea how well you can hear me, but it feels like I'm in an episode of Old Top Gear in the British countryside in a caterer. And the noises this thing makes, even at low speeds, is pretty unbelievable. Can you give us some of those bangs? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Now, traditionally, when you think of a four cylinder, you don't really think of a good sounding engine. But with the sequential transmission, the lines it makes, and the up top RPM noises is actually pretty darn good. Oh my God. This has just been a day full of fuel stop experiences. So we're at another fuel station and check it out. They have 99 octane fuel here. We don't get anything like this in the US. I'm uh, so actually, jealous. This is actually kind of economical because it's like where well, it was before the fuel crisis, about 30 quid to fill up. You can do a day's driving on that. Wow. So, not bad. Not bad at all. And it's a rocket ship. <laughs> so we haven't really gotten on it yet because we're waiting for the tires to warm up, but just the overall experience driving around town with the wind and how noisy it is in the cabin, it really is something special. Surprisingly though, despite the fact that there's no doors and no roof, you can actually have a reasonable conversation with your passenger. It's definitely easy to overfill. The gas is almost pouring out of the gas cap. I almost kind of want to look into getting one of these in the United States imported. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's what makes so much sense about it. It's a grown ups little kid's toy. It's a go kart for the streets, and it is unflippin' believably fast. Can you turn on those indicators again? I gotta hear that. <laughs> That's the world's most annoying turning indicator sound I've ever heard. It's stupid. As much as it's annoying, you'd think they made it deliberately loud enough so you can hear it. When you're driving, you can't hear it, so it's just <laughs> annoying in general. Oh. oh my god. These hidden speed cameras are insane. They're evil. 
pretty frightening. <laughs> I gotta say, this car provides quite the insane experience. Spoil, spoil fire trucks. Yeah, off pretty the charts. Awesome, it, yeah. yeah, the smile for dollars is, is yeah, way up there. Totally. It really does feel brutal. And, yeah, and not sensible in any way. <laughs> yeah, and not, and not in the slightest safe, but... <laughs> you Good, you're okay. telling me that now. Well, I'm just kidding. okay driver, so you'll be alright. Alright, hold on for dear life. I'm in love with all the old architecture out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at all of these shops. Why is the US so boring? This is incredible. And honestly, what are the perfect vehicles to do it in? Oh no, it's not the perfect sightseeing vehicle. It would be perfect if it wasn't uh, really like hot. thousand <laughs> degrees. It's I unbelievable. Mean, yeah. Does this have air conditioning? No. It has it some might, sort of button, but where does it come out from? From under here, but that's heating, so let's yeah. that <laughs> Look how thin these little streets are. No match for the catering. So one of the big reasons I decided to come to London was for the Goodwood Festival of Speed, which has to be, other than Monterey Car Week, my favorite event car-wise uh, in the world. And we've actually gotten into the Goodwood Estate right now. We are close by. We're gonna see if we can do a hill climb prior to Goodwood. I, I think mean, that'd it be pretty be a epic. Fast one, but to say well, a fast one. Hill, what do you like, need? Well, this is the thing. But uh, looks like there's a lot of checkpoints up there. So yeah, we'll, we'll see enough. what we can do. We are stuck behind this incredible race car. Wow. This, this guy here, the Scania. I don't know how we've done this, but we've become the first people at the 2022 Goodwood Festival of Speed Hill Climb. <laughs> How do we get here? I, I, have no I don't know. Smooth just, talking, just, Zach. We just, I, yeah, I just have my way with words. Oh my gosh. And across the finish line, <laughs> the nice. first competitor in 2022 Festival of Speed. You got the fastest time oh this God. year. I am purple in all sectors. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of around the victory roundabout. Hey, fans. No, it's here. I don't know how we're doing this, Mark. Yeah, I don't know what, what's doing. happening right now, but I absolutely love it. Sneaking into Goodwood Festival of Speed. This year's epic monument, the Goodwood Palace. Look at this, the starting grid to the Goodwood Hill Climb. All the tents being set up. Zenmo. This is not how I thought today was going and I am so happy about it. Going into the motor circuit. Now Parker, yeah. you always gotta be careful. You gotta be quiet with it. <laughs> well, this is pretty damn cool. Ken Block's Safari Porsche just sitting here. Apparently it might go up for sale. I love the way these things look. We were just in Africa doing safaris, but it'd be a lot more fun uh, in this Porsche. Check out that, uh, that roof scoop for, I imagine, air conditioning. Well, the day increasingly gets cooler and cooler. We've got two Spitfire fighter jets, and apparently the one behind it has traveled all the way around the world. How crazy is that? A bunch of planes over here as well. Before you get too angry about cars grills these days being too large, look at this, Ford Popular. Those are some massive grills. Now seeing an E30 M3 is always cool, but you've never seen anything like this. Built by JP Performance. We're gonna go around to the back first and then I'll show you the good stuff. Absolutely incredible spec, but check out the interior. This thing actually has an F82 M3 engine under the hood. And check out the modernized interior and seats. That is insane. Now this is something else. You got the Gucci glasses, it's, so it's I imagine not, this is your favorite. It's not a Gucci edition. It's not, it's they not, just painted it the wrong. Italian stripes on it? The Italian stripe. no, it's All right, well. Edition. Look at the seats. Oh, you're right. You would know what the seats I look like on the Gucci I edition. I <laughs> and off camera, he just said he'd take this over this beautifully specced Urus, so. Well, it's a black Urus or a 
Tricolore Ferrari. <laughs> Tricolore. So. These wheels are really cool. How cool is this? A GR Yaris. I wish we got these in the United States. That is one mean looking hatchback. With an epic wrap color. <laughs> that is awesome. So the battery of the Caterhams died and he's come up with the brilliant idea of bump starting it. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> And the day is just progressively getting more entertaining. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> That's amazing. How's this for a playground? <laughs> that is so awesome. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Special thanks to Zach's Garage for the epic experience. I've got a link to his Instagram down below. All right guys, see you next video. There's gonna be some epic content coming your way. <laughs>